If you've got really grungy envelopes from your dyeing techniques, let's see what we can do with them. Hello and welcome to the Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And today we're going to be working in the French Linen Botanical Journal. So I have dyed a very standard envelope. And what I did was I got it wet in a dye. This was, believe it or not, avocado dye, but it went into a rusty tin and avocado dye takes on a black colour or a grey colour when it reacts with iron, an iron rusty tin. So what I did was, I, uh, once, it, once the paper was wet, I scrunched it up and then I've got this effect where the dye has gone into the broken fibres as it's been creased and crinkled. So this is beyond junk. This was a junk envelope which has now been covered, well, stained with this dye. We've now got a rip in it. <laughs> and the whole thing's just really tatty. But that's okay because we can make that work. And I'll just put some glue here where I think that's going to go. So here we've got a damaged altered envelope which has been dyed. It's got a rip in it which I need to repair. Open it out and I've got um, this so that flips open that's fine but here we've got a little flip out here uh, on a hinged piece so I could even stick something more there and I've got two pages. I can I can lose this flap or I can keep this flap as something else to tuck in. Then putting in a scrap piece of paper which might have just gives it a bit of strength round shape. So this is uh, one of the washi tapes that I sent out to New Zealand to my subscriber over there who was uh, Maggie. Maggie has confirmed that she has received it so despite problems with the post over here in the UK she did actually receive her mail within a week. So... Uh, my uh, post lady was, um, wasn't was sure that that was going to happen, but we can confirm that it did because Maggie did send over a, a message to say she got it, which was lovely. Yeah. It's one you've got to peel the backing off. It's a sticker, but it's nice because they use paper. So I'm just wanting to... Capture that bit in like that. I'm just going to fold it in because I'm not going to see that bit. So I'll just come in with that bit. And then that's the bit that I'm going to fold over. Just having a little play. It's just nice just to sit here quietly. Just to relax, relax from the day. I've had quite a busy day, so it's uh, nice to unwind and just uh, come up with a few little ideas, feel like you've achieved something and often I like to do this at the end of the day, uh, just as I like to do it at the beginning of the day. Give me the opportunity, I should do it uh, at the beginning and at the end of the day. So I'm hoping to do more tomorrow in the daylight. I want to look at that page that you've all been talking, uh, writing in uh, with your messages. I agree with you that the bird was a bit too big that I showed in the last video for this page. Um, so I'm going to come up with something else. So that will be coming up. But I need daylight because I also agree uh, that you need the, you don't want to get the colours wrong in false light. Okay, so this is the glue that I've been uh, recommended. It's called Sticky and it's from a shop called Tiger in the UK. www.flyingtiger.com says it's made in China. Uh, it's imported to the UK, but it's produced for Zebra, which is uh, Denmark, Copenhagen. So there we are, it's a Danish glue. Let's have a go at the Danish glue. Because the Yoohoo one is in the other room. Doesn't smell of anything. Doesn't tell me what's in it. It's not saying anything about recycling or anything. But 
here we go. And I'm just going to give it the task of grabbing onto tissue paper. So it should cope. <laughs> I have got this napkin and I'm just tearing away the flowers there. And I quite want to just keep some of that script or maybe a few flowers. just the script actually it's away and I'm going to use that strip for something else obviously Okay, just to, as a bit of fun and to be able to get to it, I'm just pulling it open the envelope. Uh, put in that. And now if I peel away a bit there, I am going to see the dictionary page, which is uh, a nice option to have. I'm just going to put some of this stick glue around my inside of this tatty envelope here. I'm sticking down this book page, which I think might work as a peep through image in a minute. Putting glue on all of the surface area here. Coming up there, even that bit where it's a bit torn. Lining up the paper here. This is a vintage... Um, lined paper this comes from an old notebook used to belong to my grandfather so using the outer envelope as my template I am just cutting round Just adding a little bit of washi tape here. I have put the washi tape on here. We've got the napkin in there. This is going to become a little tuck. I'm going to glue this down so we can tuck things in there like the flowers. And then I've lined inside here with some lined paper. And this will all come round here so you could write on here and then fold things up just cut a bit out of this box so that will sit on there and I'll just cut that out so I'm just going to glue on my little image here this is a digital kit summer labels from Kaylee Blant creations this is one of her labels I quite like this with the bee on it so that works because we've been talking about the bees limited which is the nursery that Harriet and Arthur set up together so I'm now just cutting this label out and then I think this will act as my closure to keep that letter extra writing space in the folded envelope in check and then I think we'll have it up that way and then that will be the closure on this thicker bit here that's going to stick on there and just keep that in place but first of all I want something on there just to make that nice right going through my scraps I've just found this squared paper I'm just going to add that in there okay so far I've got this envelope which is folding out now with a lined paper and I've got a little tuck spot here which I'm just going to create by putting down some glue glue that down on that crease there so that is going to be my little tuck spot I've got some tickets here so that might want to go there they come in and then that will be able to shut there I'm not sure about the tickets that was just as an example but you get the idea so we can put labels and what have you behind there then I've got this sticker here which I think I'm just going to stick there I'm going to We're putting that there, take that away, 
just like that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have it like that, I think, with a little bit of floaty fabric, just because, just because, just because, why not? Just because it might have been a little fag fragment of something important from one of these far-flung places that came back. Okay, two things have happened. The first thing is that I went to bed because I got very tired and it's now the next day and we have daylight and we also have a quiet crafting space because one of my two children has gone back to school and the other one goes tomorrow. So as wonderful as it's all been this summer, it's been a little chaotic to try and get a quiet crafting space. So here we are and this is where we left off to now. The other thing that's happened, so apart from now it's daylight, um, I've now got this which I'm quite happy with. I'm just doing this so we can turn it over and have a look. When I open it out, now last evening I was using this new glue, new to me anyway, which comes from in the UK a shop called Tiger and it's their own brand of sticky glue. Uh, so this is the other thing that's happened overnight. Let me see if I can bring this up now. I'm fairly sure that I was pretty good at gluing the whole of this down. And if you can see, it's... it's uh, what's it doing? It's sort of separating and not sticking. Um, that is unacceptable, so I can't really carry on with that glue. What I am going to do, though, is embrace it. I just thought oh, I'll, I'll age it and, and then the crinkly bits will be emphasised. Right, vintage photo down the side here. So uh, I'm not impressed with that. I'm reverting back to my YooHoo glue, which I have had a few casualties with as well. So... Um, we're still, you know, this still is pretty good. It's, so, it's just a good all-round one, that one. And I like Scotch Create as well, but that does have a tendency to peel up. And Pritt Stick leaves a chunky deposit on the project, so we can't get on with that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware that I'm being incredibly fussy. But, yeah, you know, it's just got to be right got to be right so I've reloaded with the um, this glue that I'm oh, this one I approve of <laughs> this this and this pretty good and this is excellent for all all tethering down so these are my this is my current approved glues <laughs> it, it might be different tomorrow but right now, what I want to do is sort out this rip here. So, we're patching up and repairing. We don't have to patch up and repair because I put some dictionary paper behind there so that I could peel this back and make a feature of it. Well, that is absolutely a brilliant idea for anybody wanting to do something like that. If you've got a hole in a piece of paper, and we might even do that over the page because there was a rip in one of these pages, this is now quite a nice idea, and it, and it actually says collector. It's a Spanish dictionary, which is all brilliant because they go out to um, they go out to these places all over the place. It's definitely going to have Spanish speaking, um, so that is kind of nice as an idea. In fact, the more I'm talking about that, the more I'm sort of liking it. So I could roll that round, ink it up a bit, and have that as a an interesting thing. Or not, I could just, that's a nice idea, but I could just glue that all down and then collage over the top of it, which I think is the way I'm going to go with that. So let's bank that nice idea, which it is. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it on this page. I just like the serenity of my, my botanical images that have been created here. So with my YooHoo glue, which I feel more happy with, I'm just going to 
repair it like that onto that paper underneath and at no effect there so we can't see it so now that's a repaired job so that's great this is a good idea though we know it's there I found this little scrap this is a Tim Holtz tissue paper and it's got this lovely bird on it and I have been thinking because we've been talking about putting birds over here maybe I could have him there and peep through here but I don't like it so I'm not going to do that there I'm going to jazz up my envelope here and I want the collage to be orientated in this portrait way that's sort of an idea forming there and I just think we'll go with it because the more you think about these things the sort of you're making them complicated then you're making things difficult for yourself and ultimately you just need to do it because once you've done whatever it is that you're um, not worrying about but not deciding to do that that thing that where you think oh I could do it that way I could do it this way just do it whichever way whichever way is quickest and then once you've got the thing down it then opens up a whole nother set of possibilities to then craft along with <laughs> so just get the thing down on the paper rather than worrying do I like it because I've committed to this already I've stuck the envelope down so it's it's happening so I have to you know I ha I've got a little bit of um, pressure to make it look halfway decent uh, but remember this is junk journaling and it doesn't have to be perfection and whatever you do if you don't like it you paint over it or you stick something else over it this is just thin tissue paper which can quite easily have more paper over the top of it so just snip around that one I don't want to wrap it round right so here we are so I'm thinking I want a label or something on there I've got a pile of bits and pieces that I've had I've sort of had for this journal snippets and things that have come off of the fabric and um, that's quite nice isn't it so I'm just sort of playing around with things here to see what's going to work this one could cut it out what's that strip that's nice isn't it a little strip like that down the bottom so sort of like these things these things are nice oh everything's nice I like everything that's that's tricky that see clusters make everything look good but I just fancied a, a name a dress name thing there what's this Oh, how about one of these? Sometimes, you know, you just have things to hand and other times... Oh, what's that then? Date. Oh, what are these? I don't know what it all is. Oh, they're all, they're all different. Oh, look, I like that. Oh, these are quite good. How about that? Is that... It's a special. Oh, look. Oh, gosh. That's brilliant. That's like a specimen. Oh, brilliant. Let's have that then. One of these. Don't know what they are. Don't know where they came from. But uh, one of my little buys. So these, these are um, craft labels. Um, if I can find them, I will link them below. But it's one of these things that I've bought, probably off eBay, somewhere like that. Um, see what this looks like if I just cut out because I'm a little bit too wide here maybe if I cut that fancy bit off and just make it into a more of a standard label here and then this could just be some sort of specimen type thing I said I was going to make specimen uh, cards and I will um, but an original herbarium specimen of a plant was just simply sticking the plant down on the piece of paper once you've dried it so it's just dried dried 
plant on paper. So all this where you see others put um, specimens behind plastic. Well, they wouldn't have had plastic. So I'm trying to think of... Well, we'll just make it look like glass, but we'll use plastic. That's fine. But I'm just trying to get the design right. Oh, well, that's OK. And then that's a little pocket. So I've got two. I think that's gentler for what's going on here. And that one's a bit... We'll have, we'll have to do another one. OK, so that's what I could even have a little window. Oh, it's all happening. OK, so that, that that's fine. We could even make something like this. And then you can write in what it is. Right, I need a piece of paper. I'm not going to take it off the backing. That would that would get round there. So it's still a sticker, but I'm not going to take it off the backing. I'm just going to glue it on. And I think I'll cut that out so we can see through. How about, let's just see how that works. So if you wanted to draw a rectangle and some lines and a square, which you're now going to cut out, onto a piece of craft paper, you absolutely do not need to buy anything fancy. It's just I bought a lot of stuff when I didn't need to. Right, I like this idea, so now I need to stick that in the right place. Okay, so let's just have a little think about this. So if you had a piece of craft paper, you could just cut a bit off, like an, cut your envelope off, and then you could turn it into a ticket by just cutting off the corners. So this is a simple idea, you just cut off the corners and you ink round in a black ink. Or you could draw a line, you could write the date and number on if you so wish, and you could draw some straight lines with a ruler. You can then draw your square with an ink pen and cut the whole lot out and you've made yourself a very basic specimen card. And then what we're doing, where's everything gone? Then what we're doing is we're just going to glue down half of it and we're going to get another little image which you can cut out of a magazine, a digital kit or a seed catalogue. Position it where you want it. Now I'm going to stick that down. Here. And because this is, a, so you put glue all over it, I'm just using stickers as it happens. I don't even know where these came from but they're good because those are paper ones and that's washi tape. So I know no idea where they came from. Maybe somebody's gifted them to me in a happy mail. This is what happens. I get some lovely things. And I'm just going to stick that portion down there. So now I've got this bit flipping up. And what I think I'll do is I will just glue down there and there. And then that's the little tuck. And I might put a, I might put a whole dip in the side there. Let's do... Let's see what this is going to look like. Uh, oh yeah, that's great. We're crafting on the fly here and I'm just going to take off that little bit there. So you wouldn't have this fuss and bother because you'd just be dealing with a piece of paper unless you had some similar label like this. But I have no clue where I got them from. I think they might have been gifted to me in a happy mail. I don't know. And I, I just simply cannot remember. It was probably something I bought a long, long time ago when I first started uh, doing something like this. Then I stick those bits down there. I'm annoyed I've got a crease in there, but I'm just trying to show an idea here that's sort of manifesting <laughs> before us. And then I'll just ink around everything that's showing. And I should just still have now a little extra bit there. That was, that was fun. Okay. And... Um, so uh, because I'm not putting anything in the top there, I could now carry on decorating the, this bit if I want to. Or I could put a cluster on it. 
Uh, so I could do that and make it a little bit more three-dimensional and textured. I could put a piece of trim on there. But I think that's not quite right. Um, just play around with this. Oh, there we go. That's it. There we are. One of these at the back. Perfect. And then how about whatever this is? A little stamp. Coming in off-centred. What's that like? Is that it? Have I got it? I think so. Okay, let's glue it. So, I don't know when, what this is for. Republic of the Congo. I should think they went to Africa. They were going all over the place for the cotton. We'll do that. And then the bird's got something to look at now. And it's that shot of green, which is quite good. And then we'll bring this one in, maybe with a bit of ink. Did you see? Did you see? I inked before I glued. I'm learning. Slowly. <laughs> and then put this on. Put that one there. Muddy it up a bit. And then this is going to come in here. That goes down like that and that's how that's looking let's bring this up and see what you think so now we've got our little envelope we've got a bit of writing space there we could definitely write something here and um, we've got dates and we've got a number or you know whatever you want to put there really and then it's secret bit here which it doesn't have to be that I'll probably change it because I like that image I want to use that for something else it's not the easiest to get out. How about a card? That's better. And then I'll put a decorative something on there. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe have some stamps. Do that in a minute. That goes in there like that. That's nice. Now we've got a little journal card. little reminder of some special thing. If that's going to peel up, let's just not have that. Let's get the serious glue on it good so that's going in there like that and um, oh maybe I'm going to put this on here aren't I so I'm just going to sort of fussy tear that bit out there to ink. <laughs> well this is all coming together really nicely. I've just glued that on vellum piece on there and then we'll just quickly put a little bit of ink there just to age up the card and that was just um, a bit of scrapbooking card so that can now live in there. It's quite sweet so I like that that will live in there and then you get that little peep through of the black and white very nice little ink around and um, I'm thinking I just want something else there so I'm just going to reach for my ephemera holder that we made together and see <laughs> I've been using those so I want to do a few more of those flowers all of this is in the French Linen Botanical Journal playlist so if you want to know how to make this uh, it's all in there and if you want to follow along and see how we made this journal then um, you can go back to the beginning of this series and check it out because it is good fun. I love the hinge connectors, they make the pages lay down nice and flat. It's been a real nice sort of art journal experience so far. It is inspiring and you can have different 
types of paper. I'm just using my Kalal glue here on this ticket, hoping for good results here. And I'm just going to add this um, little label here because there's still a little space to put a note or a date or say something and then in there we can open it out and we can journal on that even though it's crinkly I've got now and I think what you'll do is you'll write in and tell me maybe iron it <laughs> so um, maybe I will uh, that's good that's good suggestion thank you for that ahead of time before you've even done it I think I might iron it and we'll see where we go uh, I'll report back and then um, perhaps I just want something there as well okay so thank you very much for watching and commenting and supporting the channel I've enjoyed making that specimen card on the front I think that was quite a good idea I don't know what that sticker was originally for maybe like an ID label or something I've had a look in the pack and I only get two of those stickers so I don't think they're worth recommending I think we'll make our own so what I might do is create a little kit for you and then we can you'll be able to cut them out so uh, stay stay tuned and, uh, check out my Kofi page and if I've got anything put up there you'll be able to grab it but uh, I'll try and see if we can uh, create something that you can just cut out and craft with so that would be really good so that will be coming up because I think I can make that for you um, and what else so we've got that that's looking really good that says about botany we've got that inside I'm going to iron that and then I'm just going to carry on doing a few more bits here I've found that and I quite like that so I might sew and do a pocket there and just sort of cover up that bit. But if you look, you probably can't see that if I bring it right up. This is where I had a rusty nail and it's left an impression. So I sort of like it, but I think, um, you know, it is quite dark. Uh, so I might just cover that up there. And yes, yeah, so it's it's coming together. Lots of ideas. And thank you for your support. And uh, I'm, I'm hopefully bringing more ideas to you that could work in any journal not just a botanical one but if you're wanting to do nature and uh, anything for the fall that involves woodland uh, that that's a good idea uh, so we'll see if we can bring a digital kit for you for that okay and uh, yep we've got that to do we've got this I've got a little idea to just clip this on because this keeps slipping so I'm going to match that one up there uh, I've got my little swan story to tell you about so we're all, all to come okay guys so I'm going to leave it there otherwise the video is too long but I will catch you soon and we can catch up on more ideas and journaling fun but above everything else just slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now <laughs>